What's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Malamar Games. It's been a hot minute since the last upload. We've been a bit busy. I'm playing Joe Ugardi this week. He's been busy getting second at the last two regionals that happened back to back. And I was also there. <laughs> so we've been a little bit busy, but we finally found time to play today. And we're going to be playing a format where we're only allowed to use Pokemon with 60 base speed or less. It's a cool one. Usually when we get rule sets like this, I try to shake it up a little bit. Last season we had one where we were only allowed to use super fast Pokemon. So I ran Trick Room with them. I thought it was a little funny. This time around, honestly, I just kind of threw together a team. I, I put together, I basically made a, a slow good stuffs team. I put on Pokemon with good stats that are below 60 base speed. Uh, this is a Series 1 match. We're not allowed to use uh, things like Iron Hands, Iron Thorns. We're not allowed to use uh, Paradox Pokemon, basically, or Ting Lu. So no Legends of Ruin. So this is what I've cooked up for today. I will say once again, not my finest or most most uh, optimized work, but I like the team. We've got Belly Bolt in here. He's doing a, a, a similar job to what Belly Bolt's been known to do when he's seen in competitive play. Parabolic Charge, Thunderbolt, Muddy Water with a Terra Water and an Assault Vest. But I decided I'd run in with Max Speed and throw a little Acid Spray on him with Farigarath. Oh, how's that going to work, you ask? 106 speed is Belly Bolt's uh, speed stat. 105 is Farigarath's. Farigarath is running a Throat Spray set with three attacking moves, Hyper Voice, Psychic, and Energy Ball with the normal Terra type to power up those Hyper Voices even more. It's one speed slower than the Belly Bolt, so I can use things like Acid Spray, Hyper Voice to hopefully get a big, big amount of damage, getting a, a nice little one-hit KO here and there if I end up able to bring that mode. Grim Snarl works great with Belly Bolt as well. Screens make an Assault Vest Belly Bolt really, really difficult to KO. So that's always going to be fun. Amoongus is there to support. Pollen Puff for healing. Spore for sleeping. It's it's an Amoongus. What do you, it, it, it does what Amoongus do. And we're going to round it out with King Gambit, who I'm running with Kowtow, Cleave, Sucker Punch, Swords Dance, and Black Glasses of the Dark Terra type. Big damage. I just like the idea of him clicking and, and getting big damage done. And an Iron Defense, Body Press, High Horsepower, Mudsdale. Which, honestly, I, I it doesn't have a lot of synergy with the rest of the team. But, like, I like the haunts. Not really too much to analyze this time around. I just picked mons that I thought were good. And we're just going to get right on into it and see how it goes. Wait a minute. Why is there a Hoppip? Oh, man. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Nah, I mean, he's basically just gonna use it as, as like, Mimi Jumpluff. But nah, dude. Oh, man. I'm not- Oh, no. I don't love this. I mean, the rest of the team is, like, pretty normal. Wait, I get it, though. It's it's just Tailwind. Ah, uh, I get it. It's for, like, really fast Tailwind. And the rest of these mons are, like, pretty fast for the format. We both have King Gambits. That's fun. My man's running Dawn Fan. What? Okay, no, it's gonna be it's gonna be like Chlorophyll Tailwind on the Hoppip with like EQ Terra Ground Dawn Fan. That's what it's gonna be. For sure. Alright. I ran out of time. I was typing too much into my notes. Uh that wasn't great. We're just gonna kinda go. Belly Bolt Grim is a pretty good default lead. Uh, we'll see how it works. He doesn't have anything that, like, really destroys Belly Bolt. Like, Dawn Fan, obviously, is really good into it. But I have Terra Water. Dawn Fan is a really high attack stat. All right, it's Gambito Dawn Fan. Okay. Easy Reflect. Easy Reflect. Um... This is going to be really interesting to see where our speed tiers lie as well. It's going to be important. Do I Terra Water here? I think I actually just straight Terra Water. Donphan has very weak special defense. This, I doubt it KOs, but it's going to do quite a lot. And I might be faster because I'm, I'm max speed Belly Bolt. Okay, he just goes for the Protect. That's okay.
I do not want an accuracy drop. I'm playing with fire a little bit here. I'm going to be able to scout on an AV pretty effectively here if that's what he's running. That looks like AV for sure. No drop. Good stuff. Good damage with Iron Head. We're going to switch in the Gumbito here. I have Fake Out. I could have used Fake Out. But I really wanted to get the Reflect up there. I'm, I'm retaining Fake Out for later. We are faster with Belly Bolt than both of his Mons. Very big info. And we almost pick up the Dawn Fan. Ooh, that's big damage, though. Wow, okay. Am I dead? Oh, he crits me! Oh, I think that might have mattered with Reflect Up. That's that's unfortunate. I don't know for sure. It, it very well could go. Like, it could be either way. I'm really not 100% sure, but uh, that's unfortunate regardless. Um, my Perigraph should be faster than both. I'm going for Sword Stance here because I need it. Like, it's the only way that I actually make progress in this game. Like, I, I absolutely have to rely on it. I'm going to take a bunch of damage from Assurance here. But since Assurance is his attacking move, it means he's not running Kowtow. Oh, man. All right. It is Sylveon. Alrighty, alrighty. I feel like I can just kind of kill this with Kowtow, honestly. Um, it, it terastalizes, but does that kill my King Gambit? Or do I Kowtow the opposing King Gambit? I think I actually... Would that pick up? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, good call, good call. Okay, nice. Uh, the question is, do I KO here? That's the big question. I'm plus two, and this is plus one, so it's going to do a little more. I think this kills. Plus two? Oh, he's faster than my King Gambit. Oh, right. Uh, that's not great. Mm. Not fantastic. But, 2v2 if I pick up here. I have Fake Out Pressure as well. So I get rid of the King Gambit. I have Fake Out Pressure onto the Sylveon. Fake Out plus Kowtow. Um, also, light screen is a potential play. What's the final mon? Salt Giga. Oh, it's uh, it's that. Okay, that's not great. I think I actually. Hmm. Sylveon with Terra Fire is scary, but I think I one shot it. Does he double me, though? Alright, I think my play is to actually just do this. No, no, this is it. I have to just go after the Sylveon. And I'm gonna fake out the Saltigan. Alright. If it's covert, that sucks. Okay, just Hyper Voice. I don't think I pick up. It doesn't have great defense, but it's going to resist. I was hoping for the Terra Fire there, but it's not going to happen. All right, we got Throat Spray. I also know that Sylveon is faster than me. It is dead to another hit. All right. I'm very dead here. All right, lefties. I'm just trying to get information here. All right, good play. And sub. That's really good information for me. Cool. All right, I did not expect to win game one there. So I'm pretty okay with how that went. I got a lot of information. Saw the full four. Very good speed tier information as well, which is going to go a long way. I'm, I don't know if the crit mattered in the Belly Bolt. I'm, I really don't know. 
Like, I feel like it probably did, but I don't know for sure. It makes it harder for me to approach this next game, because, like, if I knew for sure I could play, like, oh, like, he, he KOs 100% there, then I can play around it, but I just don't know. Definitely liking the Grimmsnarl lead, though. I mean, honestly, like, the Muds is not bad either. Like, Iron Defense Body Press is, like, pretty good into that lead. So is Amoongus, honestly. I think, like, Amoongus, Grimmsnarl, Belly Bolt is really not that bad. I don't love the Farigarath. I don't love this matchup, but... It's, like, it's playable. I need the... I need to, like, make sure the Sylveon doesn't get a boost before other stuff starts going on, though. Like, it's it's awkward, because if he can position the Sylveon well, it gets very, very difficult for me. Uh, Alright, cool. I think I let the Hoppip use Tailwind here so I can kill a turn. It has to just be Tailwind, like, surely. Alright, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Got him. Got him! Nice. Good leadoff turn there. Still slower than my Amoongus. It has Sleep Powder, that's the problem. Like, that's the really annoying thing here. I think I would actually rather stay on the field. Mm. This is rough, actually. I think this is, like, actually quite difficult to, to figure out. I think I definitely want to use Light Screen here. And then I want to chip this, the... I want to chip the, the Torkoal. Yeah. That is... It sure is an amount of damage. Uh... I think I just want to work on stalling out sun. I can always tear a water if I want to. It does open me up to, like, sleep powder being problematic. Okay. Fissure. Interesting. <clears throat> I don't think Hopip gets after you, so I should be fine to just Spore again here, actually. We're just gonna start targeting into the Hopip. Ah, there's the Tailwind. Yeah, oh man. Good call. He does re he reveals it. Wait, oh my god, he... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Another turn of sleep. If it's not really much I can do here, except for hope to dodge a sleep powder at some point. Yeah. I also need to wake up. Oh my god, dude. Alright, well, I am getting rid of sun here, so there's that. I am guaranteed to wake up on my next turn of Grimmsnarl, so I'm going to cycle for Fake Out here. I'm going to go for a double protect. If I don't get the double protect, then I lose the King Gambit. I come back into the Grimmsnarl, and I can try to win this with Belly Bolt. Okay, we don't get the double. We 
do get the miss, so that's good. Out of sun, does this kill? Wow, not even close. Light screen's good, dude. And there's a jack pack. Okay, cool. I need to dodge sleep powder here. I always have to tear the belly bolt. Uh, probably protect on the on the dawn fan, right? Oh, is he just going for it? Should he use sucker punch? I would have actually KO'd this. Uh, I mean, it still relies on a sleep powder miss. Us. That's definitely Scar, um, banned. That's 100% choice banned. Hey, though, like, as long as I dodge Sleep Powder, we're okay. Still, dodge Sleep Powder first. We do dodge the Sleep Powder! It's not banned, it's protect. Right. Okay. But I know that I'm faster, and Tailwind is gone, so what I can do now is I can bring my Grim in and I can fake out Muddy Water? Or fake out. Do I parabolic here actually? It's like a little bit yikes, but. I think I need the HP back. I think I do actually parabolic. I'm gonna call a protect on the Dawn Fan. Nice! Okay. So I get a good amount of healing here. It's not enough, even at the crit. All right, all right. I don't have priority, but he doesn't know that. I and mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I do have the ability to set reflect here, which is good. I need to dodge another sleep powder. <laughs> I need to dodge another sleep powder. Let's go. And then we're like even. Oh, I'm faster than Hoppip! Let's go! Belly Bolt! Belly Bolt! Belly Bolt! Okay! All of a sudden! What's the last? Is it Sylveon? I have AV Light Screen. I think Belly Bolt can actually make it work. I can reset that no problem. If it's Garg? I have a super effective hit into it. It is going to be raining, or uh, it is going to be sunny, which sucks. It's Gambit. Okay. Gambit. Ooh-wee. We don't know if the Torkoal has Protect. I don't think we've seen Protect out of it. I always light screen here. And I think I just spam Parabolic Charge, honestly. I think that's just always the play. I just try to make it so he can't out-damage my healing. No protecting comes in. Parabolic does a little... Oh my god, that does actually nothing. Okay, that's that's a little... I mean, I, I don't have the power up. I really should have gone for the Muddy Water. I didn't want to risk Defiant, but I think it still would have been better to at least, like, maybe even just, like, Thunderbolt. But I am full. I, I get the full 50 HP back. Iron Head goes in. That's a dead Grim. I don't think I care. That one doesn't matter. We already know the damage roll from last time. Oh, shit, he gets Fissure. I forgot he gets Fissure. <sighs> oh, Alright, dude. GG's. Not much I can do when he hits two out of three Fissures. GG. Well, that went poorly. Some days RNG is with you. 
and some days are today regardless a good mental preparation set now i feel great i feel mentally prepared for all of the fissures that are going to hit me in euyc next week so a big shout outs to joe for helping my mental preparation for the big event coming up in a week uh, overall, though, I thought it was a really cool team. I liked what Joe did a lot with the hop-up with Chlorophyll. Uh, Tailwind, obviously. He, he did what I kind of talked about in the intro, right? Like, last season, I went Trick Room with the really fast Pokemon. He went Tailwind with the really slow Pokemon. It's fun. It's cool. I really like the team that he put together a lot as well. Um, I don't like Fissure. I didn't like that part. <laughs> But I liked that he brought Average Tusk with Donphan. That was fun. 120 attack is a very, very strong attack stat, even if it's not quite as strong as Great Tusk. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I thought the hop-up was super cool. You know, you don't see a Pokemon like Hop-Up running around all that often. And that's kind of one of the cool things about Malamar games. We get some neat little niche Pokemon. Like, like, like in this case, Hop-Up and Donphan. It's, it's kind of fun. It's, it's a good time. Next up, we're going to be facing off against Osiris. And the rule set for that one is going to be non-level ups. So, essentially, we're allowed to use any Pokemon that evolves by a method that is not leveling up. So, you know, if it's a Firestone evolution, A-OK. -okay. Happiness evolution, A-OK, -okay. trading, all of that's good. Just like nothing that levels up at level 28, just or whatever. No starters is an interesting thing that we're going to have to play around with, for example. I haven't really looked at the list that closely yet, so I'm not 100% sure what this format's going to look like. But I'm going to have plenty of time to spend in the lab and figure out how we can get back to our winning ways. I hope you all enjoyed watching me get fissured into oblivion. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, and of course subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss any of the upcoming Malamar Games action or any of the other fun VGC content we have coming on the channel in the near future. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night, whatever it is wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you guys next time.